ZR2 SoCal. So I just thought I'd do a video to kind of introduce and go over Akatiel Wells' trip uh, that we just got back from. So because I didn't really have a lot of uh, video footage during the event, I figured I'd just uh, create a kind of like an introductory video and go over everything that we did on the trip and kind of uh, just kind of go over everything and then maybe show you a couple things and then after that you know you uh, show you you know show you the video so on Friday uh, we we were arriving early so we left um, the house at like 4 4 30 in the morning and got there around uh, I want to say 8 8 or so uh, found the spot at the cove that we really wanted so we were super happy about that Unfortunately, one of the members uh, wasn't able to make it. He was supposed to be there on Thursday, uh, Thursday night. So come to find out he wasn't feeling well. So hopefully he's feeling better and uh, thoughts go out to him. Uh, so after I arrived, Mac, uh, we got uh, uh, Carl arrived and then George and Sochi arrived and then Lisa arrived and then... Uh, let's see here. Then Max arrived, and then <clears throat> Carlos arrived. We um, we actually found Carlos. Uh, he had gotten lost on the way out here. He was supposed to arrive at 4 p.m., uh, but he ended up arriving a little bit later because he got lost out there, and I just happened to be driving by and found him. Good thing too, because he was just about to give up and go home. So that that was was a disaster avoided. Um, so basically when we got there on friday it was like setting up camp getting everybody together introductions all that kind of fun stuff you know and so riding the quads getting set up and everything so it was important to you know make sure everybody knew everybody and there was there was no questions about you know whatever was going to be done as far as uh, semantics around the camp so uh, Friday was kind of like a you know a re relaxing day to get get everything settled in and you know people were just kind of chilling out so it wasn't a really big uh, big eventful day um, because you know everyone was tired from the drive and didn't want to and and I don't blame them you know it's like a long drive to get out to Akatia Wells so we didn't really do much I was kind of thinking maybe we could do some more um, I had a lot of things planned um just in case but you know uh as we discussed things as a group it was decided to just kind of chill out so we did run around a little bit on friday went and uh just a brief drive out to the little people uh and back just to like kind of get a lay of the land and and get uh george and sochi associated with the with the area a little bit and so that was kind of fun did some some minor running around on uh, sand reef as well um and saturday we uh so friday we we arrived we had breakfast and and dinner and kind of snacked throughout the day as we you know came back and uh saturday morning it was kind of the same thing breakfast and and lunch and then like a little bit of a snack for dinner um go over that in a little bit uh and sunday breakfast and then we all took off so that was like the food and I'll go over that in, in detail a little bit. Um, so Saturday we did a big trail ride. That was the main, that was like the main event for this trip. It was really fun. And then we came back as people were tired. Um, and, and then we also did a night run and not as many people wanted to do that. So the, the first, the, for the main ride was everybody, um, and then the next ride was only four of us uh, four rigs anyways so there was like seven rigs running out uh six trucks and a quad um the 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 second run was only four trucks um so let me go over the two different runs the first run uh in the morning on saturday we went from the cove which is where we camped uh through devil's slide um, up using the Shell Expressway, uh, and we went to Little People and the Pumpkin Patch. Uh, and when we went to Pumpkin Patch, we went 
through Lost Lizard Trail. That was real fun. A lot of uh, neat little canyons that we traversed and everything. Um, and then from Pumpkin Patch, we went over to the uh, Crossover Trail and went over to the 4x4 training area. So then we were able to do some fun things at the 4x4 training area. Went through a lot of the, the various uh, obstacles. Got some videos of that. And then from there, we took the roads back to camp. Stopped by, got, got some gas. And then had some lunch and then got back out. So the next run was a sunset run. Uh, we took over to uh, the gas domes. And on the way there, there was a, an accident. Somebody was hurt. Uh, it wasn't one of our people. It was somebody that had been riding a motorcycle and looks like they were really injured. The sheriffs were waiting for the helicopter to come pick him up. So our hearts got to that guy. Hope he's uh, doing okay. And after the gas domes, we did a, a little trail that I had ran before with Eric uh, and his friend that was a Jeep. This was uh, last December that I had run this. So I had already done it in Gaia and gotten the GPS up and running and was able to follow that trail back with three other ZR2s following me. And they had a really great time. The cool thing with that trail uh, was the really narrow canyons through the washes that we took. And then of course the night ride with all the uh, ability to use our, our lighting was kind of fun. And it was a little bumpy in in parts, but other than that, it was a real great ride. So that was basically our, our main runs for the trip. We had a really great time. And uh, now let me go over kind of like the food for, for breakfast. We had, um, on Friday, we had just eggs and, uh, you know, bacon. And we were doing um, breakfast sandwiches using uh, English muffins. That was really good. And then for dinner that night, we did, um, oh shoot, I can't remember what we did Friday night. Uh, anyways, uh, I believe it was uh, chicken tacos. Yeah, that's right. Chicken tacos. And then Saturday morning, Saturday morning, we had breakfast with uh, uh, eggs and bacon as well. Um, more of the same kind of thing, simple easy to easy to make stuff like that and uh then when we got back from for lunch we had hot dogs and hamburgers on saturday and for dinner on saturday we had uh snacks anyways we had carne asada and that was awesome and leftovers if anyone was still hungry sunday morning we had um egg sandwiches using ham leftover hamburger buns and other things like that uh we had so much food we didn't even know what to do with it all um there was coffee and and all kinds of craziness every morning and people were just trying to get rid of food man it was so much food that we were all having a hard time getting rid of it and that's always a fun thing you know and with the 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 camping mentality it's always like we're trying to share and and help each other out so that's always cool um now in case you're wanting to really get a closer look at the topographical maps and see where we were for the camping so let me, let me see here so this is the ranger station that is that that it was advertised and then if you go down shell shell reef highway and then main street is right here so you go down Shell to Main, make a left at the interchange, and then at Main Street, follow it down, because that's also Shell Reef Highway still. So Main Street and Shell Reef kind of merge right here. And then if you turn left on Quarry Road, you go down here, and the cove is right here. And there's one other campsite beyond that, that if you stay there, that's like the best one because people can't drive by you. And I, we found out that at the cove, there's a, a road that goes right by the camp. And the problem with that is people come up here, go around and come back down because they want to go up blow sand, which is right here. So that there's a, there's a trail system back here that allows you to go through blow sand. And so people were blowing through our camp at night and that was no fun. So we learned that the hard way. So the first trip, we went from our 
our site all the way through um, Devil's Slide area where we um, did some fun on Friday and we went up turned left on uh, the East Bank or East Wash I believe it is and went to the little people and then from there we took the little the lost lizard trail up to the pumpkin patch and then from there we took a ma another wash over to crossover road and went to the 4x4 training area so from there we took the street back over 86 to south to 78 west and uh, went back to camp and so that was the main run and then the night run we took uh, from camp we took the shell highway past all the things that we had done the other day and kept going and basically went down found uh, the gas domes trail and followed that into gas domes and once we were done with gas domes we went through a lot of these little tiny washes over here that were super tight and fun and then by the time we got up here it was a, a trail that doesn't have a name and that led back to 86 again so that was our that was our two main runs um, this is all available on Gaia and I'm gonna update the GPX uh, onto the ZR2 SoCal site um, so you guys can download it if you want anyways if you have any other questions comments or concerns feel free to let us know otherwise have a good all time. right so we're leaving the little people now uh, we're just about to head over to the pumpkin patch so this is ZR2 SoCal uh, heading out All right, ZR2 SoCal, so we made it from little people over to the pumpkin patch, so enjoy. Let's uh, 
the whole group. So what do you think so far? Right? This, uh, this place is just ridiculous. I love this place. It's like just so massive. And there's like, if you want to do little hill climbs, you can do hill climbs. There's like slaloms, there's whoops, there's everything, man. It's just a really great little place. To really know just, your and it's too. so huge. Absolutely huge. <laughs> you really know your stuff. I try. It's pretty cool. Like, you lean this whole thing. That's, that's amazing. It's awesome. You know, I, I've had a little bit of a practice a couple yeah. times. But uh, yeah, this one is the biggest group so far. That's for sure. You having a good time? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I, I Tell us how you real feel. I want to go, go on some fucking <laughs> um, climbs though too. Okay. You know, yeah. Some, well, there's uh, uh, there's some bigger hills over by the the Fort Four Training Texas. Center. Yeah. I want to see what my truck can do. Sure, sure. There's some little fucking hills I've done next to my house that I sucked at. Like, what yeah. The fuck, man? Yeah. It's just the way it is, man. You gotta just live live with it. So, pumpkins, good times. I've got already like a ton of video of this area, so I'm not gonna video anymore. Later, ZR2 SoCal. Try this on a taco with some steps on it. But. Hey, four low, four low, and, and crawl control. Uh, well, you don't have to. No, no, no. Left uh, driver. Straighten out. Straighten out. Straighten out. Yep. Slow, slow. Put on the put on the brake and the gas. Put on the brake and the gas. Passenger. Passenger. Turn. You're fine. Passenger slow. You gotta go slower, dude. Gotta go slower. Slower, dude. Slow. Straight, straight. No, don't turn. Yeah. No, 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 don't turn. Straight. good driver a little driver a little driver yeah there you go yep you're good little driver you're fine just go slow Straight, straighten out, straighten out, straighten out. You're, yeah, go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way. Yeah, you don't want your rear tire to fall off. Come this way, please. Okay, I'm just saying.
Jack's gonna try a, a uh, medium difficulty. He says he thinks he has a good line. passenger I, I say you try to back up and hard passenger to get your your driver front tire closer to the center of the pull, the pipe so that it's not as high of a incline what do you think try and keep you away from it if you can come like this max just like right this way and then angle might be good to get you over but I'm not sure see this is where I'm concerned you're gonna have to come back I think this way a little bit more I would say a little bit further. No, you're off the obstacle. Oh, that's fine. I right, go around it then. Just keep going. There you go. Yep. Slow. There you go. Yep. Your uh, both tires are trying to go up. That's the problem. You gotta do a little bit of a bump on that one. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yep, you're good, you're good. I would go a little bit driver. Driver! Driver! Or not. Yep, there you go. That, those big tires help, man. That was awesome. So whenever you air up your tires, ZR2 SoCal recommends using one of these things. <laughs> Carlos is gonna demonstrate for us. <laughs> so even though these 12 volt connectors that you have are rated and they supposedly work pretty good, the amperage that they pull is overkill for the amount of time that it takes to fill up four tires. So what we do is we just clamp one of these uh, to the battery and that's it. <laughs> 